ball. That's the key on this one. Drive it through it. Um, and, and, and you can see that the uh, other team, she was running like this to go get the ball. Yeah. Big key. If you're teaching ground balls, tell your girls to start with your sticks down here. Do we start with our sticks down here when we go to catch? No. We teach them to be up here. Why don't we teach them to be down here when we're going for ground balls? It's just a very basic and it's a natural thing. If they're already the see ground ball and they're running and they're already down, nine times out of ten they'll be the one that come up with it. It's a great, it's a great way to a lot of drill knotting is to start with your stick down, like Ann said. We did a lot of drilling on that because otherwise, the time it takes for them to go from here, and usually they're standing up, so they go from here to here and get jammed up, you know, or poke themselves in the stomach, or nobody goes through it, or now the crowd comes, right? So now we're hitting each other. It's like a melee. Um, well, we came to that conclusion. We went up to Jersey, and my sister-in-law and my brother were there. And my sister-in-law said, do you know why uh, you know, the Jersey girls, we lost by like one. Okay. And uh, she said, you know why the Jersey girls are beating you at ground balls? And I said, no. I, I'm trying to figure it out. We're telling them all this. She said, because we all play field hockey. They're already used to being down here. This is field hockey. So it's natural for them to already go down low with the ball on the ground. And I was like, oh, OK. So that's fine. So we played field hockey for a little while with that. Yeah, we, we, we pulled out the field hockey. It's a good time. So if anybody wants to go field hockey, I got old team. I got old team. Okay, this is the what not to do. All right, the what not to do. The what not to do. So penis ground ball. Here we go. Ball's down. Oh, oh stand standing up. up. Say, oh, let's up, flick it. Up, up again. Up. Oh, okay, it's down again. Up, oh, it's up again. Oh, it's down again. Is this the same team you just saw do that clear? It's Ever crazy, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, and she picks okay. it up and runs now, across the goal. Runs, it's going back backwards. <laughs> we were just like, oh, my God. What are we doing? I think you both said that, too. You were like, yeah, no. Oh, no. What are we doing? Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, we actually practice every day. <laughs> like, did we just get these girls together for today? Because <laughs> well, I looked at her and I said, did you teach her that? And she was like, no. Oh, did you? Oh, my God. What are you doing? I mean, that's so oh, you are. Move your heads. Panic sets in. I'm telling you, panic sets in all the time. I can get these guys to calm down and relax and think about the fundamentals and drive through the ball, pick it up, and then go out to the side. Okay? They did everything wrong there. Stand up, flick it up in the ball. air, flick it up in the air again, flick it up in the air again. More oh, random. The head. You don't need a lot of people doing a lot of wrong things. Just yeah. have to add up to anything right now. Go in front of the goal. All right, all these things. Here, 
Now in this case, she's got me well covered. She's taller than me, right? So I'd be dumb to try to keep going. I'd be dumb to try to go in here. She's gonna stop me. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna protect that ball. I'm gonna have to roll dodge. Then I'm gonna cut her off. Cutting off on the back side of this is important because if she tries to turn around now and I'm going down the field, she goes after me, that's illegal. It's still my ball. Okay, so teaching, roll dodging, teaching to give the space. I know she's there. She's not moved. She's coming to defend me. She's coming up. I now need to make my decision here, not here. Oh, crap, now i got to get out of the way. My decision needs to be here. So I always tell them to put two people in between them and then decide, am I going to do this? Face dodger? Sure. Works every time. There's rocker dodge. You're going backwards and then forwards again. But the biggest component of it is changing your speed. So on the defensive side of that, how do you teach the defender not to check across the body? No, they don't, can't check there. I was, I was yeah, as soon as you're defeated, to me, you cannot check. Right, they know that, but how do you, like, you break stop them? Well, Beat them over the head. We'll talk about checking a little bit, but you're, that's you're right. right. It's, you, it's, that's yeah. one of those things you're going to sit, drill, 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 just like get your hand up high, get down low, and get a ball. It's just body, over and over. Body positioning is the most important thing on defense. The stick is great, and if you, if you have an opportunity to check, it's really out there. She hangs her stick out here, and I'm coming up on her. Yeah, I'm going to come after her. I'm going to do something to try to get the ball out. We'll talk to that in a few. But generally speaking, <coughs> again, there's a lot of drop balls out there when the, the kids are playing. So if she's going to try to dodge me, my goal really, and we went through practices and practices and even games where we said, do not check. First of all, they dangerous check all the time. And they don't, they're not in good body position. They're not in good body position, so they're whacking away. So you're better off just making sure that this is the goal here, and she's got the ball and I come up on her, I'm gonna just try to keep her on this side, right? And I'm gonna usher her down to the goal line, I don't care. You and know? again, it's not about getting the ball. It's about slowing the girl down. That's it. And if you change that mindset, all of a sudden you're going to see them make better decisions. Yeah, you don't have to go fast. <laughs> you don't need the ball. If she stays out against that sideline the whole time, and I usher her down into the behind the cage, you can usher her right off the field and back into the locker room. Yeah, it's an awesome right? job. I yeah. did everything right. All right? So encouraging them or teaching them, don't always go for the ball. Right? You don't need to. Let it's a team sport. It's a team sport. Let the other team make some mistakes, because they'll make them all the time. And your teammates will be there to back you up as well. So that's how I would do it. I would encourage them not to check unless it's hanging out there. Yep. But most of the girls check as, uh, oh my god, the girl got away from me. Oh my god, I'm going to get her. I mean, they come over top, and they're always getting the call. So I'm waiting, like I said, we'll talk about this. The last thing with the dodging. Girls tend to you know, cradle in front, right? Okay, that's great until I get to a position where somebody's got to stick in front of me. Protect the ball, right? If there are people behind me, I'm protecting in front. If people in front of me, I'm protecting behind. Shoulder, shoulder, stick. Shoulder, shoulder, stick. Right? It's the body. Okay, so the girl in the blue dodges. Yeah, she's down here. So she's off of here. She's kind of off the field. On the way um, is the defender. Is the right now acting as a cone. You'll see. She stays in cone position. <laughs> They're on the hold. Okay, here we go. So then, as a defender, 
her, I could pick her up. Instead of, she was flat footed, like this, and then she turned like this, like, okay, get out in the middle of the field. Right? So it's all in the defense, it's all what you show them. You give them what you want them to have, okay? Have to move their stick and their body to encourage them to go the way you want them to go. And then you'll be really good at it.